Hey guys, this is Mindy back with another cup of love, cup of wisdom. Let's get in here and do an energy check and see what's going on. Remember, this can be past, present, or future energy. Remember to take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Flip the signs and rolls as needed. Keep in mind, this is a collective read, not a personal read. Not every message is for every person. If you would like a personal read, the details are in my description box for my channel. And you can also email me, aceofcup0 at yahoo.com. And I had to laugh at this because I have, in the old... Thought if I can pick it up here. And then I have clothes. And here's where it gets funny. Because I have I pulled tested not. So I have tested not. And then I have the test. So <laughs> those are contradictions. Um, tested not, and then the test, so that, that made me laugh, I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with that, <laughs> and then I have ethical, and it is better, okay, so somebody could be thinking about you, or you could be having old thoughts, um, there's something significant about clothes, Maybe in the past somebody had bought you clothes or promised to buy you clothes and then they never did. Um, they could have actually um, said they were going to buy you something and then the next thing you know you see someone wearing um, the exact same thing that this person said they were going to buy for you um, with the tested knot and then the test. So maybe you thought somebody was testing you. with clothes maybe somebody said they wanted to buy you something this could be related to clothing maybe you need to get some new clothes or go clothes shopping um but the test ethical and it is better so you could be having some thoughts about something from the past and it was related to clothes or something that was purchased for you or something that somebody said they were going to buy for you and um it didn't test out um, the person didn't hold up to their end of the bargain. Um, and I don't mean that that's a bargain, but like if someone promises to do something, you expect them to uphold what they say. You know what I mean? Um, but somebody wants to be ethical and something is better. So this could be like an instance of the false twin coming before like a true twin flame connection or something like that. Like somebody from the past was trying to ruin something for you so that you wouldn't believe the true um, twin flame or the true soulmate or whoever this is when they came towards you. We have someone is in the middle and someone is trying to sabotage this. So someone's trying to sabotage something and they could be trying to invoke past memories or you could be having past memories or thinking about something from the past and it may have left a bad taste in your mouth, especially, you know, I read the collectives, um, I, you know, I read your comments. I know what you guys have gone through. Um, and so, you know, some, some of y'all have been done really dirty. Someone's still figuring themselves out sexuality. So someone is in the middle of something trying to sabotage something. But someone's not confused about their sexuality anymore. Someone could know what they want. Maybe they were confused in the past. Trying to decide what they want, who they want. I don't automatically go to sexuality with that even though it says sexuality. I more so look at the someone is still figuring themselves out. So that could also mean somebody was figuring out whether they want to be single, whether they want to be in a relationship, um, not just a sexual preference. Um, somebody could have been even trying to figure out whether or not they wanted to transition or not or how far to go with that. Um, so sometimes you have to look a little deeper into the meaning of what is being presented in front of you. But someone is trying to sabotage something. That is in the upright. So that is going on currently. Someone is trying to sabotage something that you're doing or something that you're working on. This could even be a relationship. And it could be them trying to like astral project to you, trying to send you past memories. They could be trying to come to you in your dream state. Or you could just have like PTSD or something like that. You could just be having bad memories from the past. 
drum roll. So I'm hearing drum roll. So there's a drummer here. So something could be coming to an end. So there's an ending. Someone's trying to erase something, possibly your past memories. Somebody could want to erase what was done to you in the past and make new memories with you. This involved, oh Jesus. Mm. So this involved someone that you humped. So somebody that you were in an, an intimate relationship with in the past. Um, this could be a separate person. Like I'm getting two different energies here. So let's stop and back up for a second. There's the old and the new that I'm picking up. So there's someone from the past that you were humping on or in a relationship with. This person was a snake. They did something really quick to try to trap you up with the birdcage here. They could have even been um, proposing to you, like tying the knot. You could have actually been engaged to this person. Um, this could be a woman, um, a feminine energy, or they could have chose another feminine over you. Like I said, the clothes thing could be significant. Like somebody could have promised, um, like said they asked your shoe size and they were going to get you a pair of shoes. And then you found out that this person was sleeping with like your manager at work and you go into work one day and this bitch is wearing the shoes that this person never got you, but they got this bitch and this bitch, like, uh, I'm going to use my converse as an example. Cause I love my converse, my black converse. Okay. I had, I've had them since I think before my oldest daughter was born. Um, so I'm overdue for a new pair, but, um, so say you have a pair of converse they're worn out, they're busted, you know, um, someone you're in a relationship is like, okay, well, what shoe size you wear? I'm going to get you a new pair of shoes. You know, it's time for you to upgrade, get, get a new pair. The next thing you know, you go into work and you see a bitch that you suspect your man cheating on you with wearing those shoes. And this person never gets you these shoes. It's like they're flaunting it in your face. So, and this person was a snake and they thought this was funny and they like to play mind games. And so they really fucked with your head. This past person did. Okay. But you have a gorilla here, a masculine energy who could be watching you on technology or communicating with you via technology with a computer here. So you could have a platform. Y'all could be comfortable with each other or you thought you were comfortable with each other with slippers here. Maybe it's a good fit. Um, or maybe you thought something was a good fit or this person thinks they're a good fit for you, but I'm definitely picking up on a masculine energy. This past person didn't offer you your flowers. They were a spider trying to catch you up in a web. Okay. They were wearing a disguise. They were hiding their true intentions, their true personality. They were hiding things and you knew this, you caught on to this, which is why you may be a little gun shy about, um, jumping into a new relationship with somebody else. If this person is presenting similarities to someone from your past, okay? And your past person could have been confused about their sexuality. Um, that could be another thing as well, okay? <clears throat> there was some sort of writing or some sort of documentation. Uh, I'm getting a signature that could have been significant. Ah, so someone could have tried to get a signature on something because they're involved in some white collar crime as well with fingerprint here. Somebody could be getting fingerprinted and getting arrested for white collar crime. This could be someone from your past or this could also, I'm being led to read this two different ways. You know how I said this is the old and the new. This can also be somebody from your past coming back as if they are someone new, reformed, they're changed. Um, they figured everything out. They're ready to go, uh, but they're trying to get out of some white collar crime. They're talking a lot of turkey. Tell them to go fly a kite. They're full of shit. Okay. If this is the past person, they're still full of shit. They didn't change. They didn't go through a transformation. Somebody is too damn old to be acting that immature. <clears throat> so somebody, this past person was playing games. Okay. So if we're back to the first scenario of the old and the new here, this past person was too damn old to be playing these games. There's some sort of pictures. The bathtub washcloth could be significant. So there could be some sort of pictures or video of someone in the bathtub or with a washcloth. Um, something is being brought to light about this person. 
They may want to come crawling towards you and ask you for some sort of forgiveness. Maybe they didn't realize how much trauma you had been through. Or maybe um, somebody was scared about something being brought to light regarding some sort of pictures and a bathtub and a washcloth. You gave this past person their marching orders. They could have only been obsessed with money and finances with wallet here. And they were skating on thin ice. So this past person was skating on thin ice with you. Um, just because they kept doing shady shit over and over to you. But this person could also be coming crawling back to you. Um, so I'm like I said, I'm being led to read this two different ways. With the old and the new. And then also a past person coming back as if they are somebody new. <sighs> somebody may have a secret to reveal about something regarding some sort of footage that they sent you in the bathtub or with a washcloth this could be involving you or themselves and I don't want to get too much into that or too detailed into that but it can involve some nudity and some sort of exchange of pictures or videos or something like that and like I said I'm not going any further into that um that's y'all's business <coughs> I just read the cards okay so, let's get in here and see what's going on. This can also be a case of the old and the new clashing within the same time. This can also be an instance of somebody from your past coming and showing up the same time as somebody new enters your life. That's not going to be the case for everybody. Um, so, um, but it could be that way as well. All right, not getting anything from Bob Ross at the moment. So, I'm going to go ahead and pull a few tarot cards real quick. Let's see if we can't get some clarity on who the players are in this story. Who are the main characters? Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, man. So there's a past love, an unsuccessful past relationship that wants to come out of the cold. In the With the Five of Pentacles. So there's somebody that you were in a past relationship that is involved in this somehow. And they want to come out of the cold or you are coming out of the cold here with the Five of Pentacles. They could be wanting to bring you up out of the cold. They could feel bad about leaving you out in the cold and not holding up to, you know, um, <clears throat> you know, mean what you say, say what you mean kind of thing. This person did a lot of talk, but they didn't back up anything they said. They, uh, that's all they, they, they did. I'm getting tongue tied. Um, that's all that they were was talk. That's all they did was talk. There was no substance backing up what this person did. They didn't keep their promises. They let you down. They were very deceptive and they actually kind of flaunted some shit in your face. Like, you know, the example that I used with the shoes, it's like they intentionally did this with somebody else. This past love is manifesting coming out of the cold. They want to come back towards you, but they left a bad taste in your mouth and I'm not going into that. I don't, oh Jesus. <laughs> I'm going to let that one go. Maybe they needed to drink some uh, pineapple juice or something. I don't know. I'm not going there. I'm not going there. This person rushed in with a lot of lies. With the Knight of Swords. <laughs> this person fell for the low-hanging fruit. They were a coward. So they could have made a love offer to somebody else. This could have even been somebody of the same sex. It doesn't have to necessarily be someone that, um, you know, if they were confused about their sexuality, they could have been messing around with someone of the same sex while in a relationship with you. Um, this person could have slept around a lot. They could have been like a player. I mean, into everything, you know, like men or women and, um, you know, they had their kinks, whatever. But this person is trying to manifest a way to come out of the cold regarding you. 
they lied to you about the low hanging fruit, but they're also watching you in your life's calling. They're seeing you succeed and excel in something that maybe they thought you couldn't do anything with or that they didn't support you in. So maybe this person didn't like what you do, uh, possibly for work or um, anything. Um, it's like, you know that song by Ugly Kid Joe, I Hate Everything About You? That's, that's what this is. It's like, I hate everything about you, but I want to come out of the cold and be with you at the same time. This person caused you heartbreak. You were with this person, the Two of Cups. This is a past relationship that left you, um, you know, like I said, with a bad taste in your mouth. Get your head out of the gutter because I... So, whatever work you're doing, it could be bringing you out of a negative situation. This person could have left you trapped and bound into a situation that you may not have been sure you were going to be able to escape from. Um, somebody could even, I hate to say this, but somebody could have even been trying to bind you up even mentally so that, you know, you wouldn't be able to focus. Um, so you wouldn't be able to concentrate like your third eye, um, your intuition. Somebody could have been trying to keep that bound so that you wouldn't be intuitive. They were trying to bind your intuition. Also, somebody could be trying to use your work to get you locked up for something. I don't know what that means to whoever, whatever you do. But someone is trying to also use your work to get you bound and locked up or keep you trapped in a situation. But you're coming out of that. You're being set free. And this person traveled towards somebody else to make them an offer in the past. So they were tempted by somebody else. They fell for the low-hanging fruit. Um, and whatever you're doing now could be setting you free from a negative situation that they left you bound and trapped in. And maybe they thought that whenever they were ready or when they felt like it, they would come back around and then they would have another shot. Uh, but the door could be closed to this person. But I feel like for some of you, someone's going to try to come back. And I'm, I feel sorry for you if this person does um, because they were a snake and they were very dirty and nasty to you. And they did a lot of shady ass things to you. So they tried to stop you from moving forward with the chariot here. They didn't want anything to move for you because they were trying to figure out what they wanted. But you are the magician. You are manifesting and you are manifesting something new is what I'm getting. Out with the old and in with the new is what I'm hearing. And this person brought a tower moment upon themselves when they tried to stop you or leave you stuck. Um caused you heartbreak um, you know you had to do a lot of healing from this person you have a new start a new beginning coming towards you this person could have left you in poverty or wanted you to be left in poverty there's an emotional situation here this person could be feeling very emotional because you have this new start or new beginning coming towards you they don't like this because they thought they could keep you on ice while they were doing whatever they were doing, playing with whomever, um, you know. And they could have even tried to test you. When, I, when the test not and then test it came out, somebody could have actually tried to test you by sending someone towards you to see if you would sleep with them or be intimate with them. But first of all, I, I, that's bullshit, okay? Somebody could have sent someone towards you and were watching you. They have you in a competition. Someone's competing with you, and you don't even compete. So someone is watching to see, uh, and you know what? This person could have competition. So if this old person, if this is the case of this old person showing back up, you have somebody new, um, and they don't treat you like the piece of shit like this person did because you're not a piece of shit, okay? So there's no competition. Whoever this is from the past... They might as well stay in the past because if you have somebody new or somebody that's willing to treat you better than what this person did, you're not going to go back to that shit. They created an injustice for you and they wanted you left in poverty.
<laughs> I can't even say what I was, I, my skin is too white, I can't say what just popped into my head, but, um, I heard inward please <laughs> with an A at the end. So someone may be um, of darker skin tone than me and I'm not permitted to say shit like that, you know, cause um, yeah, I would just feel weird about that. But um, yeah, but I'm hearing that. So somebody, um, you know, of a darker skin tone, um, someone with a little tint to their skin may, um, this may be involving you know, someone like that, someone of a darker race than myself. Um, you could have a Ten of Pentacles coming towards you, or you are in your Ten of Pentacles. Um, you could have a significant amount of resources coming towards you. Somebody did not get some sort of award or recognition that they thought they were going to get. This could even be um, the person who ghosted you for somebody else, or this could be the person that they left you for that they thought was going to make it big and get some sort of recognition and make a name for themselves so they could leech off of them. So somebody bet on the wrong horse. And you know what? If that's the case, you don't want to deal with this person anyway because they're just a gold digger. If they're just with somebody for some sort of recognition or accolades or what they can, what attention they can gain from somebody, you don't want to be with that person anyway. That's shady business. You don't want to have to be in a relationship with somebody who's trying to um, outshine you. I mean, that just doesn't even make any sense. You're supposed to want to work together. So there's a meeting here with the Three of Pentacles. There's a group meeting here. Um, there's people meeting up, talking, and just some, uh, they could be talking about how they admire you, or about how they want to come toward you with a slippery offer, but I think this is more of an admiration than a slippery offer. Yeah, because there was a Queen of Swords who lied about being in their life's calling. So there could be a group of people here meeting together that have been admiring you. And a person that your ex chose over you and supported you, or that supported over you, they were not in their life's calling and they were a liar. They were a copycat. They were someone who was trying to steal your shit and trying to live off your ideas, your creativity, trying to mimic everything that you do. And this person could have helped them do that. And it didn't work out because they're not you. They're never going to be you. Isn't it funny how karma works out? This person had you in a competition. And then if they come back to you, you know, you're the queen of cups. You're doing things from a space of love, light. Um, you know, you're emotionally balanced, you're very caring, compassionate, and you could have a king of pentacles here, like not one in the reverse that's trying to take your shit, one that wants to contribute to you, you know, somebody who means what they say and say, says what they mean. And just because this is the king of pentacles, they don't necessarily have to be a wealthy businessman or something like that, but this is somebody who knows how to manage finances. Um, you know, spends money wisely, that kind of thing. Although they could be a wealthy businessman. I'm not going to say they're not, but, um, you know, that's the energy. You know, the King of Pentacles energy. So I'm just going to go ahead and read the reversals first with this past karmic energy here. I'm just going to dig those out. So someone was really unhappy here because they found out that somebody was communicating with a third party. So this could have been you who was not happy about finding out that there was communication going on between your ex and a third party. That could be why something ended because this person was trying to make you compete for their love and affection and time and attention, and you said, fuck that shit. You have a positive outcome coming towards you because someone has made a decision about this Queen of Cups, and their decision is, is they see you as their happiness. The only problem is, is this karmic, there's a karmic here that wants to make you um, an Ace of Cups offer as well. This could also be, like I said, this past person coming back to make you a solid love offer after they done fucked you over. So I'm seeing it two different ways, okay? <clears throat> so stick with me here. <clears throat> but this past person 
also wants to come towards you. This karmic <clears throat> wants to make you a love offer. So some of you could have two love offers coming in and you may be at a crossroad. You may have a decision to make between the old and the new. <clears throat> For some of you, this is just the past person coming back to you. Um, saying they changed their player ways, this, that, and the other. They're ready to settle down. Um, they want to, they're going to say they're not confused anymore. Um, they may even try to gaslight you a little bit and say, you are the one confused. Uh, <clears throat> you had to up your spiritual protection when you were around this person. This person, la somebody laughs at your problems. Call me to laugh at your problems. You ran away or walked away from this person in the past <clears throat> because you knew they were not innocent. This person's looking at your photo, and they're going to show up in a matter of days. But, oh, and that's not supposed to be in there. Um, karma's a bitch, and someone has no shame. They're unapologetic. So they're not going to apologize for what they did. They're going to try to gaslight you, make you think that something is all in your head, that, you know, you're just not seeing things clearly. Yeah, someone was desperate. You're going to tell this person to get the fuck away from you. Stop making me angry, not in my backyard. This person could be a father. They could be the father of your children, or they could just be a father. They could just have children. It doesn't necessarily have to be with you. <clears throat> Someone could also be a Capricorn. This is the calm before the storm for somebody. Um, because someone wants a moment of truth, a moment of glory. <clears throat> and they feel like they can get that off of you because you may be having a moment of truth, a moment of glory. So they want to ride on your coattails. They think they can gain something from this. And then I have an Aquarius in the nighttime in the reverse. And so there was an Aquarius sneaking off in the nighttime um, to go get their rocks off, happy as a clam. So they were doing something in the nighttime that made them very happy, and that's fine for them, but that's not fine for you and the third-party situation that they put you in. They brought themselves some trials and tribulations that they now have to account for. <clears throat> there's rumors circulating going on. So there's some sort of talk going on. Heard it through the grapevine on a Sunday with a Scorpio in January. So there's a lot of talk about a Scorpio in January here. You know, somebody thinks something is all fun and games. This past person, they think they're coming out of a dark place. And they think that if they tell you you're as cute as a button, it'll just make everything better. So this person thinks that you have sucker written across your forehead. I don't know if you all remember Judge Judy. But I, I just remember she always used to say, does it look like I have sucker written across my forehead? <laughs> I just, <laughs> that's what I'm seeing. There could also be something significant about winter and a Sagittarius. So someone could be a Scorpio Sag Cusper or one or the other. Uh, so this person, cry me a river. They could have made you cry or they could have been crying uh, because they know they blew their chance with you. This person's afraid of his or her own shadow for some reason. So this person's scared about something. Someone's not really suffering. Like someone, whether it's you or them, you could be not suffering. Maybe you're fine on your own. You know, maybe you're not as sad as they wished you were. You could be telling this person to leave you alone. They're saying, sorry, I didn't pick up my phone. Well, they weren't picking up their phone because, you know, they were dealing with a third party, you know, and I feel like you already know this. Um, this person wanted you to feel like you were holding yourself back, but they were in fact holding themselves back. Especially when they lied to you and said, I only want you. They're going to come to you and say, I want you. I choose you. Only you. 
Uh, but your instincts were on point. Theirs were not. They thought they could get one over on you. And so you blocked them. I blocked you or you blocked me. You blocked them because you listened to your intuition. Um, you need patience. Wait a little longer. So if they were dealing with a third party, they could have said, just be patient. Wait a little longer. I'm going to get this resolved. Blah, blah, blah. Um, they're not as strong as you are. They can't be alone. You know, whatever. Um, whatever this mother loving piece of shit said to you. It was all shit okay but they're coming back to you for some reason whether um they got ghosted by their person or you know they realize that they're not you this person could want their moment in the sun and they can't do it on their own person place or thing t could be tea could be significant you could be getting the tea someone could be spilling the tea you could be getting some information ti could be significant T pain could be significant. G tig tigger could be significant. Another T. Q. And another eye. So somebody's definitely watching. Whether it's this person watching you or somebody watching them. Someone could be afraid of jail. I don't know. What are all these people doing with this illegal shit? Somebody's nickname could be TT or T or Tia. Gia. I don't know. Giovanni could be significant as well. GQ. Someone could look like a GQ model. And... So somebody could think they're God's gifts to women, you know? I don't know. B. Somebody thinks they're too big to fail. Last one. S. So I have two I's. S, G, Q, B, T, T, N. I hope this helps. Have a good day.